Hello. We're into a game and it's against orcs, which should be uh, tricky. Hmm. One would imagine. I feel like they don't mind playing against dwarfs. They kind of mitigate all the, the stuff that dwarfs do. Uh, what do we see? Looks I don't see a troll, so it's probably a fairly optimized orc build. Would be my guess. But we'll see. Three, four of those guys. One, two, three, four of those guys. So I think they got the four, four. Four, four, three. <clears throat> Disciples of War. Let's see what they've got going in terms of... Uh, Alright, looks like we might have the higher EV. Okay, so they're fairly standard. They've just got one mighty blow. So they get 125. So no wizard, but... <clears throat> what will they go with? Maybe a reroll? I don't know how many they got. They might have three, in which case... Maybe a bribe and a... I don't know if you want to go with a bribe. It really depends on how you like to play. But it's like a, a something for 100 and something for 20 would be my guess. Wouldn't be surprised to see a reroll and a cheerleader or something like that. Okay, they... yeah, I think they actually did. They went for exactly my suggestion. Oh, especially since they're on two rerolls. Yeah, that makes. I'd have probably done the same. See, I mean, I call that. That's what I would have done. So. Let's spread these guys. Make him spread his guys across the front if he wants to hit them. Okay, so those are the three I want to protect most of all. <laughs> uh, Blitz is out on the sides. Okay, yeah, I like this. Yeah, I think I like that. I kind of like going a bit wide with dwarfs on the start off. I mean, he's a orc, so he's not going to try and press that hard, in fairness. It just means he can't really hit the corner as much as he'd like, potentially. Don't come up against orcs that much. Should be pretty good, I'd imagine. Oh, Biggins can't pass at all. Interesting. Didn't realize there were people that couldn't pass at all. Oh, Troll Slayers can't pass. Maybe. I mean, it says it's got a blip out, so I'm assuming that means you can't do it. So we can move some guys. I mean, is there anything we want to do here? Honestly, maybe not. Uh, we could tighten in, I suppose. I don't think putting our guard in there necessarily helps because of all of his. Uh, so we'll do that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. That one. And we'll move them up so that if he presses forwards, he'll be in contact with us. And maybe we can get something going. We'll see. Hmm. 
you know, does he want to push forward into guard and get hit potentially? That's going to be the question here. So I imagine he's going to, yeah, he's probably going to hit our guys and then stay back. Would be my guess. Straight in there with the stun. Gonna take this hit next, or is he gonna try and blitz? Could move this guy forward here and then come around and blitz. No, I guess he's just gonna blitz with a, a blocker. Alright, so by moving up we we didn't get them pushing up on us, which is nice. Carrying on alignment is interesting. one of these guys. <laughs> Alright. Let's see how he feels about this. Hmm. They definitely outmaneuver outmaneuver us, but not by a lot actually. As surprisingly, <clears throat> so they've got four movement sixes, right? We've got two movement sixes. Then they've got three movement fives. We have three movement fives, and then it's down to four. So we have a few, uh, like we have a couple of movement fours to their movement sixes, but obviously that's not a huge difference. Oh, he's coming in there. Didn't actually need to if he wanted to blitz this guy. He could have just, yeah, hit from there and be fine. Was strip ball a random skill? I think it was. Oh, and a follow. Interesting. Is he going to try and come all in here? Oh, it looks like he is. Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Ah, that works. Uh, let's see. We'll get this blitzer around. We'll get this runner around. Uh, I guess that's just going to be a push. And then let's see. Here I think. That works for me. Uh, you can stay. And that works.
Alright, we'll put one guy in base contact just to keep this guy a little locked in place. <clears throat> Makes it that much harder to spin away there on the side. Because, you know, he could keep pushing down here, but obviously we're reinforcing that. And we've got a decent amount over here now, so he hasn't trapped our team over here. Okay, looks like he's still pushing. Yep, gets, uh, gets our lineman down. Follows as well. Because he can't push that hard down here. So what she's saying is, I mean, this guy is actually based even, so... Yeah. We should be able to reinforce this side pretty pretty well here. One dice works. How did he manage to make that one dice after moving that many guys? Bring you in here for some extra guard. You're just going to be getting up. I think we are going to bring this guy around the back. So I feel like we should be able to get this sorted out somewhat over here. We've got plenty of players. Uh, yeah, okay. That's not so good. It is going to happen there. Uh, let's see. Got one dice there. One dice there. One dice. Two dice. But it doesn't really help us over there. Nice. Uh, yeah, we'll back him onto there. And if we stay, we don't run the risk of this being a problem. Uh, we're okay with that. Uh, we're not okay with that, though. Still only a one dice, because we didn't knock this guy over. That works. Well, the game's definitely got a bit squished into this side. Is he willing to keep pushing it? We do have our agility down here as well. We've got uh, three agility players here. Our other one is, let's see. Do, do, do. I don't see the fist. There he is. So yeah, we have all four of our agility players down here. When I say agility, I mean agility three, obviously. All right, we don't mind that. Willing to play the sideline game. We don't have our Slayer over here, so why not? It's definitely a touch risky. Ooh. No block on that guy. So that was definitely, he's definitely taken, taken some risks to, to make movement here, he's not, he's kind of got stuck in and I feel like it's not paying off quite as much as he'd like now. Is he going to run this guy down in here? No, I thought he would.
Vale. So that's a one dice. One dice, one dice. Our guy being stunned here is a is a bit of a pain. This guy here. Now, if I stay, I can actually get two dice on the ball here. place. I dig that. Uh, let's see. Got two dice here. Uh, that didn't work out quite as I was hoping. didn't work out quite as I was hoping either. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's put him out to the side. I think it's safe to say things have got messy. He can probably surface here if he really wants to. Man, imagine if I had got all knockdowns that turn, he'd be in a very big mess. This guy would be down, this... maybe both of these guys would be down. Well, I think this guy did go down. This guy would be down. He would have very little to, to work with here. Do some chain pushing here to free things up a bit. The runners have thick skull? Yeah, they do. Okay. He's having a great turn here in terms of knockdowns, which he really needed. If he just pushed us a few times, he'd be in all sorts of trouble here. Who's picking up the ball? This guy? That's going to be a reroll. Yep. What's this guy going to do? Is he going to one dice this? No, he's just going to stay. Okay. Two dice against. Sis there. Okay, if we get this guy up, does give us two dice here. Hmm. 
Very nice. Oh, another KO as well. Uh, hmm, it's hard to get people in here. Just try and shore up the side so this is looking bad for him. Okay, not the result I was looking for. We can't get another hit, so I think we just knock him out here. And then maybe drop this guy back. I kind of want this guy to be back over here. Not looking good for for a bus score here. Admittedly, I mean we pushed pretty hard. We did get the ball down at least for a turn, so uh, I think we gave ourselves the opportunity to turn it over and get a score ourselves. But it's not looking great for us scoring either. But if we can take it to turn eight with his two KOs off. Maybe one of them doesn't come back, and that gives us a nice boost for second half. Especially if it were the the Blitzer. But, you know, we'll see. There's still, still plenty of turns for things to turn around a lot here. Ooh, that's a rough one to start on. Okay. Gets a stun. Okay. How far is he going to jam himself up here? Not that far. Start with this one, because it frees up a guy to come help over on the other side. Uh, Yeah. I think here. Because we already have a two dice there. So this is a bit risky here. Hang on, can we... We got him up. One dice to him to there. We can't surf the ball, so... I guess I'll just push him over. So it's two dice into a one dice. 
Uh, we can keep the result of that one. Okay, we knocked him down. That's that's fine. Oh, especially if we do this. Oh, that's not what we were after. That was greedy. Very nice. Is this a big one? No, it's a lineman. Okay. I rerolled it because we're only probably going to be trying to reroll disasters here, and we're not looking like we're going to score. I guess that does potentially help. Yeah, you can make a run for it here, I think. So you can two dice this guy, although this guy's now in his way. Yeah, okay, so that's that's not really worked at all, actually. Because now he runs the risk of being, he's got to push him here and then stay. Even then, this is potentially troublesome. Is he gonna one dice this guy? that saved him? I guess I have to see. Maybe, because the ball is kind of actually in the way of where we'd want to go here. Oh, maybe not. We can actually... ...push him out. Yeah, but then, how do we get this guy? I guess the answer is we don't. I just realized just as I did that that I think I've done this the wrong way around because really we want this guy's gonna follow up which we don't want You just come in here. You come in here. Okay, we're going to do something a little bit silly here. Oh, 
Okay, didn't get anything out of it. And then we'll do that. Okay. We put in the guard here as well to make it a bit safer. Yeah, I was trying to work out how, how to surf both of them and then not get counter surfed. It was trickier than I had hoped. The question there is how much does he try and actually get up and sort of do something else to us because we have another turn after this. The pick, the pick up of the ball was purely to, um, so I could make the surf. I wanted to surf the blitz, blitzer rather than the, the lineman if we could. But yeah, what I should have done was put the slayer here and then come over the top with the lineman because he doesn't have to follow up and get stuck on the guy. Alright, well let's move this guy. What's the plan here? I don't see a count surf, but I'm curious. Getting this guy up feels brave. I guess he can push this guy down here? Oh no, he's pushing that guy out there. Oh, I suppose that frees up this guy to get away? Is maybe the theory? Yeah. Well, we've got to give this a go. Huh. No luck there. We'll just hit people now, I guess. Uh... Yeah, I don't really necessarily see a good surf opportunity without a lot of finagling. Oops. So we'll take a mighty blow hit, get our guard in here. Nothing doing there. Oh, I should have followed that, I think. No, I'm good. Yeah, because that's just a regular... A regular guy. And I suppose we can throw a pass. Did he do a hand... He did it. Was that a handoff? Yep. A pity we got the number we needed as well. I don't know why it did it like that. I, I'm sure I moved far away so that it would... Anyway, I guess I should have done the less lazy option of clicking down here. It's not a big deal though. Okay, so he gets one guy back and I think it's his blitzer, but that still makes it... Oh no, it's not his blitzer. Okay, nice. And so him being one blitzer down is a, is a big win. Can we make any better progress than him? Traditionally, Orc versus Dwarf games are kind of like this. It just gets into a big muddy stalemate in the middle, and it's very hard for anybody to score. So I kind of predict similar. Uh, let's see...
Uh, let's do this. Yeah, this. And I think, you know what, let's go a little wider. We've got quite a good mid there. If we get a, if we get blitzed, I'd rather have people near the edges. In fact, let's go all the way to the edges. So yeah, overall a fairly successful first half. Oh, he gets solid defense as well. So he can move some guys in, but we do have plenty of guard here, so we can maybe reinforce as need be. He might just move some people down here in case we fumble this, which we probably will. We've had a lot of kickoffs where it's gone straight to a lineman, which is interesting. Uh, I guess while he's doing this, I'll be right back. Oh, we caught it, that's really, because obviously that's a lot of black orcs hanging around over there. Yeah, I might keep that guy there, actually. Do we do this, I wonder? I think we do. We need the extra... Uh... Protection here. Maybe temporarily bring the Slayer in. works for me. That doesn't work as well for me. That's disappointing. We move him there. Doesn't really help us, so I'll move him there. Then this guy comes here, which gives us two dice on this guy, which just about works. And yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Ideal world, I'd like to get his Black Orc stuck over here. And push this way, but we'll have to see how it goes. Oh. Interesting going. Okay, well, I guess it makes sense, yeah. Just to push is nice.
Okay, it's just going to mark us up. Do this. Very nice. Stay where we're at to provide the assist. Excellent. Very nice. Yeah, we stay for the assist here as well. Hmm. That's going to be a wrestle. Which kind of actually doesn't help because now that's not a one dice anymore. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. Guess we have a one dice over here. Can't complain. We've we've done pretty well on that one dice, has gotta admit. I mean both of us have, I think, honestly. Okay, okay. <clears throat> All right, what have we got here? Really need him a bit further up. Oh, stuns are great. Dude, what did he do there? Oh, he's deciding. Oh, he used the app there, okay. I think you're just getting up. We'll move that. Uh, can we go over there? Who's doing this? Isn't it this guy? Shouldn't he be able to pick over here? Oh, it's this guy. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That's what the blitz is for. 
just a push. Very nice. Ooh, that's an absolute reroll. Yeah, that that's uh <clears throat> that's not what we were looking for. On the whole that went pretty well there. You're gonna hit those dub skulls eventually. Do we get two stuns that right? Oh, we got a stun in a in the guy off the field. So he's down two and a half in the sense he's down one for this turn. <clears throat> you know, we kind of, I mean, I'd like to have the guard over here where it's helpful, but he's tying up a, a blocker, which is nice. Because these guys are obviously a real pain to get out of the way. If he does this one, then he can do that one. Risky one dice there. I wonder if he didn't realize it was a one dice. Got a good result from it there. I think that was probably an accident and he didn't realize this guy wasn't tying him up. Stunning him is actually really good for him because that's that's another guard down, other guards over here. So now I imagine we'll see this. Goes, he one dice as the guard instead. Wow. And another stun. Okay, okay, well that's, you know, slowed us down a bit. Very much a big lack of guard on the field right now. Trying to work out how best to do this. Uh, yeah, I think that. And then that should give us this. Uh, I think we'll take the down. Trying to work out how to get another hit in here. Can't free up one of these guys, I don't think. I mean, the best I could do is come and hit this guy. Hmm, I actually quite like that. Yes. Nice. So that was all just to try and get our guard over here and get us some, uh... I 
think I have to stay here. Because, I mean, he's he's not out of, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he can definitely get to us. <clears throat> so if we move, this guy can get out of the way, and then this guy can come through here. It's a dodge, but he could just do... He could have done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's just too risky, especially as close to the sideline as we are. So this feels like the slightly safer option, even though I'd like to put more of a stranglehold here. The good news is we've got a guard here and our other guard here, so we can, even if he does push into this area now, we might have some guards in a useful place. So even though that was a bit of a risk to run over and push that, getting this guy up here was, was really nice. He's repositioned nicely though. He's managed to get most of his team back over here. Oh, that's actually annoying. Although we might be able to move that guy. He might just be getting up. Alright, we'll try with this guy first, because if we could free this guy up, that'd be nice. Okay, we do. Follow that, because we don't want this guy tied up again. Alright, where are we hitting here? Do we just come in here? I really want this guy to move, actually. Okay, I think we're doing this. Oh, that's a rush. Ugh. Maybe this. I think we will wrestle that. Slightly risky on the Dauntless, but it pays off. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is a lineman. Oh, I totally forgot. Super slow. I don't want a skull there. Boy, if this if this was a runner, this guy would be up here and we'd be in scoring range. Well, it was not choice to put it on the alignment of fairness. Yeah, I mean, I don't feel bad for our one dies because his one dies have been just as good. That could have been our power, which would have put us in a great position. Yeah. 
Yeah, those are going well for him, for sure. Ooh, more pairs. What's this guy doing? Oh, nice. Drops in the reroll for no effect, that's great. One more step closer. We get this guy up. We get that. These guys are so slow. That's nice. Oh, that's real nice. Now I can tie that guy up so wow. Suddenly it's a big big old beat down. Two turns. That turn went really, really really well. Probably would have used a reroll on most of that turn. Honestly, I think we've had pretty good dice. I can't think of a lot that's been... We've, we've had a few turns where we've... You know, I mean, we had a dub skull at one point. We've had a few turns where we've done some pushes, but... Generally hasn't been very disastrous for us. I think on the whole it hasn't been hugely disastrous for him either. He's had some turns where he's done some pushes. I think the fact that we have like two mighty blow guys and three guard has really helped. You know. Take take uh precedence over his increased strength and speed. Okay, that's really nice. I guess we try and stall this out, because there's no point in giving them a chance if we don't have to, right? Just trying to work out if I can get somebody... Um, might be able to. This is still alright. Yeah, it is. 
that works. Nice hit, my friend. Yeah, we definitely had the better of the armor as well. Alright, that moves him. Although this guy is now, I think, in our way. Boy, it's been armor breaks a go-go here. That's what I was looking for. That doesn't really help. That could help. Sweet. Uh, we won't hit that one. It's not worth. Alright, for a moment I worried that I'd got my ti uh, turn times out. Well, that was a classic exciting Wolf vs. Hulk, right? With none of the excitement and none of the... Uh... You know. What can you do? It's how, it's how it generally goes. Uh, now we shouldn't, obviously... Forget that the right is an option. I'm honestly, I'm quite happy with how I played most of that. Probably made a few positional mistakes, but I feel like most of the time we we made it so it was not going to be easy. I felt like that anyway. I mean, he he played pretty well, I think. Maybe he sold his hand too early in which direction he was pushing before he had really got any leverage on that on on that particular side. I think that maybe that was a thing because we pushed fairly early as well, but he had I think part of it was he paid more for the um aggressive offensive setup. Like he was always trying to get the guys that were over here to get back. Uh, which is a lot easier for us, but we also had the benefit of getting a bunch of KOs and stuff, so, you know. I, I think, honestly, he played pretty well. I, I don't, I don't know if I'd have attacked in quite the same way, but... Um... Oh, no. Nice. Happy worked. I don't, can't remember what serious injury does. If it's missing this game, maybe I shouldn't have done that. But in fairness, all these guys are basic guys anyway. Who scored? Was it that guy? I think that guy probably was the one that scored. Very nice. Yeah, but I was mo I was mostly happy with how that went. Uh, obviously towards the end it was a bit easier than than I'd have thought. Didn't have to sort of put in any risky GFIs or anything. Um, and his attempt to get the ball on the last turn failing, which was looking like a fail because he had to dodge through the middle of our guys, meant that we could just get into a fairly solid position and be happy. Guess we can see what we haven't got on the... Oh, well, this is our coach stuff. Hey, look, we've got very good cool as well. We've got some more green stuff. Some more patterns. A renegade dark elf shoulder pad and some dice. And then what did we not get? Because we haven't unlocked this. Uh, a bunch of stuff. Okay, so it's just a nail for his hand. Some of this stuff's pretty subtle, you gotta say. I mean, 
mean, maybe that's less subtle. It's, it's honestly hard to tell. A lot of it's not distinctive enough that it's easy to remember what's exciting and what's not exciting. Uh, but there you go. So let's have a look at the team. See if there's anything we need to do. Uh, this guy's got six. So that sounds like a level up. I don't think anybody else is in level up territory. We could random this lineman, but I think seeing as he went away, we might just hold off. And then the Blitzer, I think, is one away from his next skill. Yeah. So we'll hold off on that. Um, Troll Slayer? Probably Mighty Blow. Uh, mm, maybe Juggernaut. Will I remember to use it? Not allowing people to use Fend. Not that you see Fend that much, but you see Stand Firm a decent amount. But I get like stopping Fend, Stand Firm, and wrestle against um, Imperial Nobility. It's like that skill is made for Imperial Nobility. But just just being able to have a better chance of knocking people off the edge in general. I think if I'd had Juggernaut, I wouldn't have had to use a reroll in the first half, so... Yeah, I think we go Juggernaut. And then, uh, probably stand firm to mitigate the fact that we're going to end up on the sideline a lot. Make it a bit safer. And then, yeah, who else? Was there somebody else? No, he was nearly there. Not doing a random on him. He's not nearly there because he's already got skills. So I think that's everything we got. Yeah. Nice. And how is our season going? Oh, we jumped up to platinum. That's exciting, eh? Um, that seems like a big jump for one game, but hey. There we go. In Platinum, doesn't really mean a whole lot, but um, I'll take it. Uh, I mean, just when I say it doesn't mean a lot, I just mean in the sense of... <clears throat> I don't know how, to, how tangible or significant that is, really. Uh, but thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time we play, and uh, we'll probably for the moment just keep moseying along with the dwarfs. Bye-bye for now.